All right, guys, welcome back to more Cyberpunk 2077. A lot of people have uh, been dropping by these videos. I really appreciate all the likes, all the support. I'm going to tell you, the first part of Cyberpunk not only is the largest viewed video in the first 24 hours I've ever had, it's also, it was number one on the uh, trending for gaming and everything. So, shattered a lot of channel records that day. You guys are amazing. That would not be possible without you. And uh, this, is, this is awesome. All right, guys, I love you. Let's get this. All right, just kind of thrown back where we were. That's kind of funny. I, I literally saved my game. And sometimes in games, you'll be like close to where you were. But I guess we actually need to go back in town. I'll, let's get this going. <laughs> One thing I will say, I'm glad I played this on PC. Wait, where's my... Why is my car so far away? There are a couple of bugs in the game. Well, I say a couple. There's a lot of bugs in the game. But I think half the time, you know what? It's not a bug. It's a feature. All right. I mean, yes, what I want. The one and only car. Oh, here it is. Nice. Yo, the fact that it honks at me is kind of funny. All right, here we go. Yeah, you guys are amazing. This game has been spectacular. I've heard this, the main story is not as long as, like, The Witcher 3's main story, which is, I guess, good for me, because I... I... A lot of long-time games like that? Oh, my God. Sometimes they, uh, they get too stretched out as far as the series go. I just like a short... I would say a 20-hour story is probably, like, perfect for me. Like The Last of Us games, stuff like that. But I, I do plan on, after I beat this game, I'm going to do side stuff along the way, but I want to kind of stick to the critical path for a little while. And I'll see what we got. Hold on, let me look at my inventory really quick. Got a couple of level up. We got two perk points, one attribute. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Body, reflexes. Somebody was telling me to go with... Uh, which one was it? I think breaching. Yeah, I think maybe the quick hack actually might be because it increases cyber deck RAM capacity by four percent. Can never have enough RAM. <laughs> uh, let me get that one. As far as the other one, let me see. Oh, so they they actually on their official Twitter they did say that there's one part of the game that has copyrighted music even though they have it disabled. That was a worry I had going into this game. I have it all turned off. Usually in games, I have to just turn off the music, but they have a, a thing where you can just turn off these actual music that's only copyrighted. All right, let me see. We should get these. I feel like they're very important. Carrying capacity. Oh, yes. That right there also really, really good. So I like that everything just costs one. You know? Should I go for different skill trees, though? Because right now I'm kind of focusing on, like, the athletics part of this for body. So it's like each thing has something. Let me see. I'm like just curious really quick. Quick hacking. Quick hack deals 10% more damage. Hmm. What about gain more components when disassembling? That's actually a good trait to have. When looting drones, mechs, and robots is a 25%. Okay. What about intelligence? Increases breach time 20%. 20%. There's got to be, like, a... I'm going to, like, try to find a video. Well, hold on. Level 5. I mean, it's tough because I don't quite know what I want to go with just yet. Uh, Kind of want to stick to this stuff because I feel like it's the most important. Ma max health, max stamina. Stamina's been kind of tough. Carry capacity. Let me... This hasn't been a factor yet, but I feel like I should go ahead and get it. Oh, insufficient. Wait a minute. That isn't... Oh, I have no more perk points. Never mind. Well, at least I was just looking at him. We're good. That's funny. I was sitting there spamming. All right, we can go do this mission called the information. Lindsay's bar between 6 p.m. 6 a.m. I just passed it. You know what? We're getting out. I don't care. Let's go. Now, one thing that this game does have had to disable was also nudity and stuff like that. I'm going to guess that that might be what we see in here, Looking so we'll see how it goes. Put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Uh, let's see. Brain dance? What's good? Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me double check something really quick before we go in here. Because 
Look, I'm checking their official speeches. Twitter. I just, I have to double check this. Because they posted this earlier. Brain, okay. Disable copyright music. While working on a fix, please make sure to turn the sound off during the first two brain dance sequences. All right. Sound off. I'm just, right, here's what I'm going to do. Yo, I'm so glad I just read that. Yeah, we're going to have to just do this just for this, like, one little section. Uh, music at zero. That should do it for now. Hey, what'll it be? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers. No washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, Tursta. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch. It's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's sight. Think you can handle it? Well, I'm confused. I did... I did turn this off, didn't I? Music. Yo, it might be all. I'll do it another time, though. You know though. what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. So now what do we do? Maybe we actually have to do this. Huh? Yeah, let's do it. We spoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun. All right, here we go. Yeah. Welcome what to a Aziz. sweet little face you have. Oh, let me take this. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like we're in a weird time with YouTube where we, we can't show certain things. Okay. Yeah, this would be a... I guess it would be a song playing right about now. Luckily, I read that tweet earlier. Otherwise, I would have been in hot water, man. Video would have got taken down for sure. Let's look at... Hold on. Pretty cool night lighting. All right, we're good. Hey, can get you something. Uh, let's see. Looking, yeah, let's. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Uh, name's V. Here we go. Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Mm, why didn't you come over sooner? Tequila. Let's go. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Like what you see, let's talk business. And? Like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured, you'd know. Come on, no place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Man, a lot of people I know, like YouTubers and streamers, are getting hit so, by this this part. I'm kind of nervous. Hopefully, my video is fine. Nothing's wrong. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Gotta sit in that exact spot. That's funny. Hey, without music, it is kind of weird, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's kind of kind of awkward. Jack's had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's just cut to the. T um. I'm the best. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him. In fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. 
those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Uh, let's just talk biz. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Uh, never had the opportunity. Out of my price range, I'll go with that one. Classy Corp Hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Uh, let's switch up your sleeve. Uh... So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. I like asking the, uh, the extra question just because, well, why not, you know? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Mm. I don't know if... Actually, let me go so ahead. So, what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. Like anything else? No. Uh -uh. It can no, be a very no, useful no, no, tool. No, no, no. 
Good for uh, analyzing not details, want to hear human it. perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh... No objections. No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Yo, check out, like, I'm gonna tell you, man. Oh, hold on. The lighting in this game is top notch. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. The Mickey Barf. Got a nice setup here? Here we go. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Mm, no, never. What's so raw about it? Let's do that one. What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right, here we go, man. Yo, I like how almost every video so far I'm sitting in a chair and things are happening. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's like the Matrix when they have to pl plug them in through the back of their head. I'm guessing there would be music in this part coming up. That's what the whole brain brain dance thing they were talking about is. Got to create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to okay, look at Judy. Now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to calibrate each time? Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. 
Uh, I'm gonna s just go ahead and go with it. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings, then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Man, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm kind of nervous. Here we go, though. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the PD to those psycho freaks from our studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. It's like playing a movie or something almost. Okay, on you go. I'm not really in control right now. Down, everybody! On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! A heartbeat, though. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Uh, could have warned me that was too much. Here we go. That was too much. I felt, I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. The graphics are so good in this game. All right, editing mode. Let's see what happens now. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Yo, Zoom nice. Out. Full cam control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the... So I get to like, okay. We need to go cycle breaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Yo, it's pretty tight. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off the creative. You go in, snatch the cat. I'm holding it right now. There we go. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. What? Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it. He gets the gun from like right there, doesn't he? Uh, can I scan a clue during moments? Got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Come on, wait for okay. it. On you go. Okay, right here. Okay, bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. Clues can be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set in the correct layer. Okay, clues may overlap each other. They sp okay. So anytime we see this right here, it's going to be a clue. Gotcha, gotcha. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything. Every little detail. Even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. 
Mm, we got this. Oh, hold on. Scanning this one. Okay. Fuck. On you. Ah, little shitheads. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Okay, so we can actually... Let's see, switch layer. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Down! Everybody! On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Lead injection? Oh yeah, hold on. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to god! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Shoot some anyways, right? See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Uh, alright. So we roll, roll back. Rewind. Yo, what is this? Screen, okay. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. One thing I was to sell, the guy that handed us the gun is the one that took us out anyways. Interesting. We're getting out of here, though. I've seen enough. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when. Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. You can trust T-Bug, yep. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. 